digging last section or last example in this section. So we're going to write the equation of a line parallel or perpendicular to a given line. So it says find the equation of the line perpendicular to 5x plus, excuse me, 5x equaling 7 plus y and passing through the point 1, negative 2. All right, so I have my point on my line. I'll just keep that off to the side for a little bit. I really want to focus on this. I want to find the equation of a line perpendicular to this line. And I remember that perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals of each other. So I need to find the slope of this line and then figure out what the opposite reciprocal to that number would be. So let me focus on this line for right now. We've got 5x equaling 7 plus y. I'm going to work this into slope intercept form because I'm more comfortable with that. And if I subtract 7 from both sides, I'm going to ultimately have y equaling 5x minus 7. And yes, I, I get that the y should have been on the right side and 5x minus 7 on the left, but I, I want to I flip the order of that, right? Two things that are equal, I can write them in any order. So I'm going to have y on the left side, and then I can see mx plus b hanging out here. So at this point, I know the slope of my line is 5, which would tell me the slope of any line perpendicular to it would be the opposite reciprocal, or in this case, negative 1 fifth. And if you haven't seen this symbol before, that, that stands for perpendicular. So when you see me say m sub perpendicular, right, it's a perpendicular slope. And really, I'm just going to write the little upside down t. That's the symbol for perpendicular. Um, if you ever see two lines written like that, they mean parallel. Right? And maybe you've seen that in a geometry class, maybe not. But that's some pretty common notation in math. All right, so if I'm working through this, right, if I, if I see what I have so far, I can, I've got this slope of negative 1 fifth, and then I've got a point of 1, negative 2. So if I refer back to the forms of the line, right now I'm feeling point-slope form because I have a point of negative 1, negative 2, and a slope of negative 1 fifth. So let me work that into my equation. So I'm going to just draw a little barrier there, make sure we, we've got some space. So we have y minus y sub 1 equaling m times x minus x sub 1. So in this case, I have y minus negative 2 equaling negative 1 fifth times x minus negative 1. Oop, that looks a little weird. Let me erase that. All right. Now I'm going to scooch this up just so I have some more room to do all of this. Okay, so here I'm looking at y plus 2 equaling negative 1 fifth times x plus 1. Okay, now I want to be clear that since I didn't specify in this problem to write the equation in standard form or slope-intercept form, I, I could leave it here. This could be my final answer. This is the point-slope form of the line. And that's a completely acceptable answer. So if you want, you could stop here. I think most folks really prefer the slope intercept form of a line. So let's let's just go further if we want, right? So I'm just again, I'm going to just like kind of put a little space here that you could have stopped. All right, but some of you might want to keep on going. So let me again scooch this up so we have it all within view. All right, so if you wanted to keep on going, you can distribute the negative 1 fifth on the right side, and I would get y plus 2 equaling negative 1 fifth x minus 1 fifth. Right? I could subtract 2 from both sides. All right, and I would get y equaling negative 1 fifth x. Well, if you have negative 1 fifth and you lose 2, you basically have negative 2 and a fifth. And if I want to rewrite negative 2 and 1 fifth as an improper fraction, that would be negative 11 fifths. Now, if you're happy here, right, this is the slope intercept form of the line. Again, I'm going to scooch this up just so we have all of this stuff in view. All right, this is also an acceptable answer. I'll start putting happy faces, right? I'm happy to take any of these answers. They're great. And just for fun, 
let's go send it into standard form just to practice it. All right, so if I wanted to go all the way, and let me move this up so again I have some space, but let's say I wanted to go into standard form. I'm gonna put a little, little note here. If I wanna go into standard form, multiply everything by the LCD. The LCD in this case is five. I'm gonna distribute that five to every term. Five times y, five y. The five will cancel with the five here, right? And I have negative x. Five will cancel with the five here, and this will be 11. And then all I need to do to get it into standard form is move the x over. Because in standard form, you need both variables on one side of the equation. So we have x plus five y equaling negative 11, all right? And that is the standard form of the line. also an acceptable answer. So we have three different versions. You can stop here at slope intercept, excuse me, point slope. You can go to slope intercept or you can go all the way to standard. If I don't specify the type of equation that you're supposed to write your answer in, pick one, whichever one you like best. All right, that does it for section 2.2. We're moving on to word problems. All right, so time to get pumped. I will see you in a bit. Bye, thanks.